customer know that he truly did do everything he possibly could to save this fucking rug. This dude's like wearing a different outfit. This is like day two of the rug. On day two, God already had the heavens and the earth created, and this guy's still in the same goddamn rug. I'm not really hating, I'm just saying like this looks like a lot of work, but I, then again, I don't know how much this pays. Maybe he's cleaning like rugs for the Prince of Persia or something, you know? I don't know. If he's making $250,000 a year, I'd probably do this. I'd, I'd give the job a shot. For anybody that does this for a living, just let me know. I don't know how much it pays. Maybe it's good. And if I ever come across any friends of mine that have rugs that are that absolute filthy, I'll definitely give this guy a call. He's got good form. He's got good posture. He doesn't give up. That's for fact. But for sure, one of the most crucial steps of this is the South Park walk. I guess you do that because if you walk normal, you're going to like crinkle up or wrinkle the carpet and you wouldn't want to do that. Here's chemical number nine. The seventh time we've busted out the fucking scrubby. Sorry if there's not a final result. I haven't actually watched this video all the way through, so I don't know if we get to see what this looks like when it's dried.